Six to eight story buildings could soon reach the sky here in Arcata's Gateway. In December, city officials released a draft plan to rezone 64 square blocks west of the plaza. On January 11th, planning commissioners debated a proposal to allow up to 90 foot tall buildings near the creamery. It blocks the sunlight from the houses. It blocks the green spaces. It's, it, there's a lot of noise and echoing all the shade, which is terrible this time of year. It's freezing when you have buildings on either side of you. I'm just not crazy about the vast multi-story housing. This was the original plan and all along and despite public input, it just has never changed. It's always been the same. It's important that if people want to come out and say that they're opposed to taller buildings in Arcata, that they should also be willing to say that they're for sprawl out into the green area around Arcata, because I simply don't see how we're possibly going to hit the kind of housing increase that we need without doing one or the other. I feel like liberals in the community have really helped exacerbate um, housing crisis for working families and that Arcata needs to do its share, not just for low income people, but also for working families. Working families could relocate to the gateway. It stretches from roughly K Street west to Q Street and from Samoa Boulevard north to 16th Street. The city's top planner explained how city infrastructure will accommodate the gateways up to 3,500 units of planned growth. There's going to be much less actual built over the 20-year plan period than 3,500 units. That would just be an incredible population growth. Growth at some point will trigger the need for new fire services, new police services, new wastewater treatment services. The size of the infrastructure, the types of infrastructure needs are highly dependent on the size of the community that's planned. And so to plan the infrastructure and present that in this document before we've even had the community conversation about how high are the buildings going to be, how dense are the buildings going to be? What are the land use restrictions going to be? Would be putting the cart before the horse. David Loya created the Gateway Plan. As the city's chief planner, Loya shapes Arcata's future by translating the city council's vision into land use regulations. But Loya's critics say he usurps power from Arcata's compliant elected leaders. For example, they say Loya is ramming through his Pollyannish vision to marginalize cars. Loya responded. I think a lot of people have heard us say this plan de-emphasizes you know, parking. They've translated into the city isn't providing any parking. This plan is not going to eliminate parking or people using cars. We're not intending to provide one parking space for every unit, recognizing that for every parking space, you're taking away some housing. And so that policy balancing, do we want to make sure that everybody has a a free place to park, or do we want to make sure that there's places for people to live? The council and the commission has historically come down and we've created this plan based on uh, direction that we want to have places for people to live. You can talk parking and all things Gateway at this week's open house. Check out this Facebook group to share Gateway information with your neighbors. Eric Black, Arcata News, The Gateway.